Hello, hello everyone. Welcome, welcome. I am your boy, Big Smoke 369. And I'm here bringing you our almost final DM era tournament. So, uh, just one little thing to speak into existence is pretty much the whole. I've had this idea, right? I had this. Hold on, I gotta grab one real quick. I had this idea. Right. What's up, Mr. Fish? How are you doing? But uh, I had this idea and I'm and I had the idea off the, off. Uh, originally, I had this idea. So. I was going originally, I was going to take all our champions and do a tournament with all the champions. Right. Every champion from the first DM era tournament we did up to the final one. But I scrapped the idea because I didn't want to see repeat characters pop up for the finals. I wanted, like, Yuki, Weevil, Rex, Joey, you know, on and on with different names. But, 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 there's a big butt there. I want to, I want to put, I want to say there's a big booty. There's a big, there's big booty cheeks right there. Um, but, my friend, my friend, if you ever watched any of the Era Duels, or um or any of the uh era hunter stuff jordan jordan re told me about it told me about that idea before i even said anything to him and he said you should take all the characters that have won previously and put them into a um put them into a tournament bracket and i was like okay that makes sense i was like i told him i originally i wasn't going to do that because i didn't want repeat characters then I thought about it after he said that, and I was like, oh, I forgot. They have different decks. So it would just be, for example, it would be Yuki from Duelist Kingdom versus Joey from the Ori Calco series, or Pegasus from the Duelist Kingdom era fighting Pegasus from uh, from the Ori Calcos era, or the GX era, even though we're not in the GX era yet. We're not there yet. So we're not talking about GX, uh, Pegasus, so, okay, just wanted to put that out there real quick. Um, but, uh, <laughs> but, yeah, so, that will be the final one, but I just want to warn everybody here now that that one will be, there, that one will be fu for fun, just to find out who's the king or queen of DM era, um, the one after that will be... The one after that will also be for fun, and then the the Yukio tournament after that one, there will be no picks for a while because that tournament was set up with the decks that the people who participate gave me. So there, that's the timeline. Today there'll be a prize. There'll be three prizes up. The next one just for fun. The one after that for fun, and then. Then for the rest of the Yukio tournaments for a while will be the uh, will also be prizes. It's just that there would be no picks if if you follow me. The Dragon Ball one that's coming up will be picks, of course. That one's always going to be picks. It's always picks. That one's always picks. Okay, it's always picks. But but anywho, let's get this show on the road. And may, may God bless us all. All right, so let me get this music back up and running. Um, you guys can still hear me, right? Just want to make sure you guys still hear me over the music. So, our first match is, as you can see on your screen, Bandit Keith versus Spear Union. Good. I'm glad you can hear me. I I'm glad that, that I can be heard. I want to shout from the mountaintops. I want, if you can hear me, let me be known that you can hear me. Anyway, let's get the first match up. A Bandit Keith. Versus Spirit Yuki. It's ghost. 
Let's go, Stuky. All right, let's go. Oh, okay. Already so many guard edition. Okay. Excalibur. 5K off the rip. That's crazy. And it's gone. Damn. Took all that effort to get that out, and it's gone. Why would you mega morph that? You fool. You are nothing but a fool, Bandit Keith. Why would you do that? You are a fool. Oh, well, okay. You can say, I don't want your handouts. Berserker Soul. <gasps> he drew Karibo. It wasn't a normal monster. Oh. Oh, oh yeah, I forgot it. He has to draw a monster. Monster God. A monster God. Oh, I forgot to mention there are anime cards here. I forgot to mention that. Oh, no. Break. Break of the Magical Warrior. Oh, no. Oh, well, Keith's dead. Fine, Keith. Nah. Damn, he really... <laughs> he really had to hit him with the... um. He really had him with the Karibo. He's like, you know what? I'm going to disrespect you real quick. Let me, hit, let me hit you with the Karibo real fast. Just disrespect your soul real quick. He said, like, get 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 killed by a, a Karibo. And then he's like, okay, man, that was disrespectful. I get it. I get it that I put a gun up to the creator of Dual Monsters. But that was just a bit excessive, my guy. Yugi's the spirit, he's like, nah, I don't care. Should be looking at it after the seal of where it out goes. The seal of what now? <laughs> Uh, partner, what the hell are you talking about? All right. Anyway, <clears throat> without further ado, Spirit Yuki moves forth. And next up for round one, that was a round one match. Uh, for the next match of round one will be Panic versus Khalil. All right. Uh, F in chat for Panic. Panic's going down. He's going down. I don't care. He's going down. Panic is going uh, down, but I gotta uh, do do a small little thing here. Give me one moment. Be stand. All right, now I can get the panic and claw up on screen. The F. <laughs> Mr. Fish is already. Mr. Fish is already ready. Mr. Fish is ready to uh, just just press F whenever F is needed to be pressed. His finger's hovering right over the F button. Right over it, like right now. Just, I'm gonna press this F button when Smoke says press the F button. Just, I'm ready to press it. I'm ready to press it whenever. All right, let's get, let's get uh, Cheating Panic up on screen. Hopefully he doesn't cheat this time. Panic. Oh, and Mr. Fish, when Seeker pops up, I think everyone's gonna love what I did with Seeker because some of these decks I had a hand in and changed a little bit. I did a little bit of changing with anime cards, but for Panic, I mean not for Panic, for Seeker, you already you probably already know what cards I probably get, give, get, gave him. You probably already know this, but but you'll like it. You'll like them. I was deck testing the other day and bro pulled out Exodia. All right, let's get this duel on the road. My rush call climb starts getting tilted, then yes, I will be on my villain arc. Bro, you're always on your villain arc here. You're always on your villain arc. You cannot tell me one time you haven't been on your villain arc. But uh why while, while it's on my mind, the prizes the prizes today will be for first place will be a twenty-five gift card of choice, twenty dollar gift card of choice for second place, and for third place will be a fifteen dollar gift card of choice. And then if you get fourth, then you know it is what it is. And yes, I will enjoy seeing, enjoy Seeker's new cards. Now the Rims Arcs have been tamed. Oh, you mean you're going to be untamed. Okay, okay, I feel you, I feel you. But uh, Panic has dealt the first uh, damage of the of the duel. The T-Set. You know Klo, you know Klo's not playing when he, when he set up the... Holy sh... Holy guacamole. I was about to say, I was about to say holy shit, but I, I, I'm trying to... I want to I want to curve my cussing a little bit, you know. I want to curve it a little bit that I'm not like constantly cussing. I know that's that's surprising coming from me, but that's just how I am. I'm trying to cut back the cursing, if you know what I'm saying. I'm trying to. 
It is. It, it, it will take some time, but I'm actually going to try and curve my custom. I should curve it. But anywho, let's get back on the duel. Ooh. Okay, so if that hits the field, there will be no more uh, uh, trap cards being able to be activated. <laughs> That's like I gotta to stop smoking. Yeah. Well, the difference between well, you know, the difference between drugs and language is that you can become so addicted to drugs, it's like smoking. You mean you can become addicted to smoking and say you can stop whenever you, whenever, uh, whenever you want, but you can't because your body demands it. For language, for cursing, you can curve that really quick. I'm not saying I'm not gonna cuss. I'm saying I'm trying not to cuss as much. You know what I'm saying? That's what I mean by curve it. Not trying to stop cussing, but curve it enough where I'm not cussing every like five seconds. Because if you look at videos on YouTube, I used to cuss like something, 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 cuss word. Something, 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 cuss word. Something, 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 cuss word. Like every five words would be a cuss word. I'm trying to curve that word. It's like maybe 10 or 15 words before I would say a cuss word. You feel me? But with our rambling, we already knew Panic was going to lose. We, we all knew this. We all knew Panic was going to lose. But uh, congrats. Congrats, uh, Khalil. You move on. Good job. Good job. You you beat the cheater, which I'm glad you beat the cheater because I wanted him out. Get out. Get out. Panic. Get out. You got to get Panic out. He, he's got to get out. Get out. Get out. And uh, do, 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 do. all right, Kaleo, you move forth. All right, next match is String versus me. All right, me from another reality. You better beat Strings. Cause you don't beat Strings, Mr. Fisher's gonna purge you from this reality. You shall be purged from this reality. You got the flamethrower already, uh, Mr. Fish, in case. In case we gotta purge this version of me. Uh, where's strings, 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 strings? There's strings. Some of their decks change, not all of them. Some changed, some didn't. Some had small changes. Not all of them changed, but some of them. I'm a stand on business. I mean, I just lost. To a eight thousand is maximum. Dang! So yes, I'm on business. I see. I see. Ooh, swords off the off the break. Okay, okay. Starting off with swords. Strings just set. Jam defender. Oh, you you will know. You will one hundred percent know what. Um. Ooh. Um. I, I took some damage. No injury. Defense position. <laughs> Everything goes to defense. You'll be able to tell at some point what I gave what each per what each character got <gasps> the dark magician it's over it's over for you strings you're screwed now i got singing back so when is singing dark magic attack the slime is back at no cost he's got another slime i'm not gonna lie strings is probably gonna do something stupid I'm, I'm just going to tell you this now. He's probably going to do something really stupid. I was deck testing who was doing something stupid. So, I'm just going to warn you all this now. So far, he's smart. But, that was a smart move. But then again, it was a dumb move. Because here comes Blast Sphere. Sorry, I was looking at something. Anyway, what was I? Oh, Nightmare Still Cage. There, there we go. We're back. We're back.
We got Reflect Bound. Okay. So far, uh, this version of me is uh, whooping booty cheeks. Strings has nothing. Now, if Strings gets Slifer, I, I might be screwed. Embassy of Darkness. If. Keyword if. If Strings gets uh, Slifer, we may, we, we may lose here. And we may have to purge that side. What are you going to destroy? You destroyed one of the jam. I destroyed one of the jam defenders. That destroyed the other one. All jam defenders must be eliminated. Palmerization? Uh-oh. Not the tricky. Oh. Okay, you want to attack your own monster? Uh, okay. If you want to, if you're gonna attack your own monster, go go ahead. I mean, I'm not gonna stop you. I ain't gonna stop you. We're not gonna stop strings from attacking himself, are we? Negate attack. I was like, nah. You're not attacking your own monster this time. Nah. No, no, no. I want to be the one to destroy you. I don't want you to destroy yourself. I want to be the one to cause it. The dark door. Strings already knows he's cooked. That's why he's destroying himself. He's like, look, I I'm not going to let you get the satisfaction. So you're not going to get the satisfaction. I wasn't paying attention to what was summoned. I blacked out for a moment. Oh, Shrings has been defeated. Mainly because he hurt himself for most of the duel. <laughs> Strings said, all right, I'm I'm gonna check out. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. <laughs> but anyway, I win. This version of me doesn't have to be purged. Uh, Mr. Fish put away the uh, flamethrower. We don't need it anymore. We don't need the flamethrower no more. Strings go back to hot topic with that stupid, stupid, stupid booty slime loop. <laughs> with that stupid a booty slime loop. Yeah, I know. He's got to go back to hot topic. Anyway, next is everyone's favorite Ori Kalkos player, Darts and Bothig. Now, now since we're in the anime, Darts does have the possibility of being able to summon, uh, well not summon, why did I use the word summon? He has the possibility to, uh, activate all three of his Ori Kalkos, uh, versions. He has the possibility, we may see them all get, uh, activated. Because they have to be activated in succession. But he might as well stop at Claire's to get another piercing while he's there. <laughs> Bro does have a lot of piercings. He does have a lot of piercings. No, mute. I don't want the doo -doo 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 happen over and over again. Uh, darts. Oh, that's interesting. Darts and both figure are next to each other. The Silvery Calcos user versus the Dragon user. Will the seal take his dragons or not? It's giant red sea snake. Safe zone. Okay, that's that's a bit premature, but okay. No, not dark bribe the shrine. He said, he said, F it, I'm using my mountains. Welcome to the mountains. Welcome to my mountains, darts. Whatever will you do against my flying monsters? If this was the if this was Duel's Kingdom, you couldn't touch him. Dragon tactics, what you can <gasps> Tyrant Dragon. The tyrant is here. Bro, bro said, I'm, I want that snake out of here. Get that snake out of here. It's a mockery. It is a mockery to dragon kind. The Mitchell person. No. Oh, it didn't work. Why did not? Oh, can Tire Dragon not be affected? And if you do destroy that trap cart. Uh, blah, blah, blah. 
Oh, any traps that affect it. Oh, interesting. Ooh, what are you? Five headed. Here we go. He said, "Give me." He said, "Get that out of here." The curse. He's making him attack it, and it's over. Five headed dragon. Let's go. Darts was weak. He was weak. Darts didn't get nothing. When exactly one monster controls a story target monster on the side of the field, those monster battle. That was a foolish play. Darts, get out. Be lucky you didn't activate the silver account because you'd have lost your soul. Bro would have lost his soul right there and then. Oh, monster card off. Good job, Bofig. Good job for knocking out a Orichalcos user. Darts got folded. He did get folded. Bro, bro said, I am, I am. What, what does he say in the show? He says something about how he's like, uh, he's like the king of. I don't remember what he was the king or prince of uh, back in the show. I forget. But uh, anywho, next is Evil Rex Raptor versus My Valentine, the rematch of the century. Um, but Darts just acted all high and mighty, and then he got folded. Bro got folded. But in the show, to be honest with you, if Kaiba didn't sacrifice his, uh, didn't activate his card to give Yuki some life points, they all they both would have lost, and then Darts would have ruled the world. There's like so many times when they're fighting the uh, bad guy that you literally realize that if something else would have happened before, it would be over. It'd be a wrap. All right, where's the uh, evil Rex? There he is. And I need to find my Valentine. Let's go. It's a little D. <laughs> it's a little D. Survival's in. The two mount, two, two mount darkness. That that was a waste. What does that do? What what are you doing? Oh, okay. Harvey Queen. <gasps> it's the field spell. Uh oh. Uh oh. Spaghettio. Hunting ground. Get out. I like an egotist. She's got to show the field spell. Bye. Ah! Return to the hand. Summon again. I go hand. I come back. Is this going to end up just like on the boat where uh, Mai beats him again, even in his evil form? Well, she took some damage. Return of the hand. Summon again. Summon, har su summon Harpy, girl. Why would why would you summon? I'm, I'm, I question why you summoned Harpy, girl, of all monsters. All right, Mai, my, you had him in the beginning, and now you're getting screwed. Uh, okay. Okay. <laughs> Rex is like, nah, I'm tired of you beating me. You beat me on the boat. I ain't letting that. I'm not letting that happen again. I'm not letting that shit happen again. Mutual destruction. But she gets to add a heart duty. But she won't live long enough to play. Monster. That is dirty. Uh <laughs> He said, give me your harpy. He said, Mosh Reborn, give me your harpy. I sacrifice your harpy to summon Crawling Dragon. Now die. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> Evil Rex Raptor moves forth. Oh, that that that's just that's that's crazy. That's crazy. You can't make this up. Only one of us will survive this duel. <laughs> All right, next up is a Maximilian Pegasus versus IN4-M8, my fellow companion. My fellow companion, you must defeat Pegasus. This is your job. This is what you must do. You must defeat Pegasus. Everyone root on my boy IN-M8. Uh, root on my robo boy. He's my fellow comrade to the end. Oh, wait, I, I passed him. Wait, 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 where are you? Oh, there you are. Add. There we go. All right, let's start this duel. Let's go. The tricky off the break. Wait a minute. Two tables of content. 
Graceful charity. Damn, did he throw away Polly? Blazing Apache. Oh, Pegasus is getting cooked. He got that boost. He's got that boost. It's Crash Cloud. Not the. No. He said, if I'm going out, you're coming with me. Ah! Then the cat. Polly. The first of the dragons. He said, give me these back. Blazing Apache, come back. Dang, Maximilian Pegasus, the the creator of Dual Monsters, getting cooked. He doesn't have no Millennium Eye anymore, so it explains why he's getting cooked. He can tech wolf. It's over. The, the creator of Karth has lost within seven turns. That's crazy. All right, Maximilian Pegasus, you don't get to move forward. Good job, IN, IN4 Dash M8. You get to move forward. I knew you, I knew you'd be able to beat him. I knew I knew you had it had it in your uh, circuits. I knew you had it in your circuits, my boy. I knew you had it in ya. All right, our next match, and I'm I, and I'm I'm loving this match. This match is like a good match. Uh, we have Vivian Wong versus Ashizu Ishtar. Now, if you don't know, with the upgraded card that Ashizu that they made uh, for Ashizu, she has them. So you go, everyone should fear a Shizu, because a Shizu has her new archetype, uh, whatever it's called. I forget the name of it. I literally forget the name of it off the top of my head. But Vivian Wong does have her anime cards, and one of them's from the video game. If I can remember where Vivian is, there she is, and then a Shizu. Shizu, Shizu, Shizu. A Shizu. Let's begin. Let's see what the future holds. Flame Tiger. Okay. Keldo. Ah, I forget what they're called. The Sacred Protectors. I forget. I forget what they're called. Show them the deck. Lesser Dragon. No, is she's gonna get cooked. Yep, she has the retrains. But Vivian has the uh, her anime card. Most people just call it a Shizu and oh, they just call it a Shizu engine. Oh, okay. It seems like she's not doing that good with the retrains. She must not have gotten a good hand. Oh, okay, maybe not. Oh, she's cooking. She's cooking. Sit here, take those back. Send that away. Get this. Graceful Charity. Ancient. <laughs> Send more cards. Sanctuary of the Sky. Swords of Healing Light. <laughs> A Shizu said, look, I may I may be losing, but I ain't I'm not I'm not ready to call it quits yet. Oh uh, yeah, uh put those back in your deck. Uh let me throw those away. Uh let me get uh let me get a card. Can't battle swords. Take your strap. Uh, I'll take. I'll take this. Uh, trap. Uh, ancient protector. <laughs> it's just gonna keep calling ancient protector. It just that it's programmed. It's literally programmed to just guess ancient protector, which is a rush card. It's a rush card, and I'm not putting that rush card in here just for that card to be able to activate. Oh, uh oh, that exchange, that exchange is uh, is gonna be very good. If she activates that exchange, it's, it's over for uh, Vivian. You still can't battle. You can't battle now. You can. You can battle now. Throw away. Grab. Set. Flip. Battle. Doesn't battle. Why is she not activating exchange of spirit? Activate your exchange of spirit. So anything's going to save you from this beatdown. Six. Ooh. Sacrifice blast. Ooh. Put it back. Put it back. 
put it back. She just says, I'm not done yet. Oh, well, okay, maybe she might be done. If she would activate her exchange of spirit, which I don't remember how exchange of spirit works. I think you can activate it whenever. If she doesn't activate, it's over. Actually, no, it's over one way or another. What does exchange of spirit even do? Like, why couldn't she activate it? And why is my mouse falling asleep? I don't know why she couldn't have activated it. Oh, well. Anywho, Vivian Wong... Vivian Wong moves on. The Shizu just didn't have the have the will to activate that card. Very upset. Very upset. Um, oops, wrong wrong page. I went to the wrong page. Oh no, I, I slept. <laughs> all right, all right. So our next match is a uh, goodie, a goodie, an oldie but a goodie. We have Mako Tsunami versus Taya Gardner. We have Freaky Fish Guy versus uh, the Queen of Fairies. And uh, yes, also, uh, Mako does have all of his. Uh, Whatever they're called, the uh, legendary fisherman cards, and some of the new support for him as well. I, I skipped over Mako while talking about Mako. And Taya, I don't think I changed her deck at all. I don't think I did no. I don't think I did any edits to her deck. I don't think I did a single edit to Taya's deck. Terraforming. He's got the. He's got the sea. It's the sea. It's great white. D spell, no more C. I can't swim. I don't know how to swim. Fish sonar, the jellyfish. It's the flying fish. It's the it's the Dutchman, the flying Dutchman. Ooh, okay. You do, you do know you gave uh, your opponent something that uh, is stronger because you have set back row, right? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm just saying, Tay. You kind of screwed yourself. She's getting the fish beat down. She's getting the freaky fish beat down. And Mako's only taking a little bit of damage. Ooh, 22. Still not enough to beat the great white shark with its boost. Yo, Umi Control, let's go. Yep, Umi Control. Electric Jellyfish. It's already over. He didn't even need the control. He said, just give me Harpy Lover. I'll use Harpy Lover as a defense if you have anything to come back with. But anyway, Mako Tsunami moves forward. Good job, Mako. Uh, you drowned her. All right, good, good job. Good, good job, Mako, you drowned her. But anyway, anyway, we're moving on, we're moving on. All right, next, uh, one, two, three, four, fourth match till the end. Sorry, I'll, I'll do it, I'll do it this way. Fourth match, and no, you know, I'm just gonna call the match, fuck it. Anyway, our next match is Odeon versus Rex Raptor, normal Rex Raptor. Just wanted to state that. And I hope Odeon uses one of the two cards that he um, had in the anime. Hopefully he does. If he doesn't, I'll, I'll be upset. But it'll be okay. There's a, there's there's another chance to see him uh, use those cards. To use the cards. There's another chance. Hey, hey, no. Oh, no. The game... The, the music already knows... Everybody knows what could be possible. Orion. Rexoraptor. Let's go. Jurassic Power. Oh, yeah, I forgot. This Rex has uh, some uh, upgraded cards. His deck's a little upgraded than Evil Rex's. Man, he got three summons in one turn. Crazy. 
the swords, the gold sarcophagus. Who used it? It's the seal of Sirket. Warrior and Earth. Bet. Oh, another one. Warrior and Earth. It's got two warriors and two warriors of the Earth type. Twin-headed King Rex. Oh, he said not nah, a serpent. Oh. Oh. Oh no. A 29.50. Uh oh. Does Odeon have what he needs to take that thing out, or? It's Dicky Curse. <laughs> it's Dicky Soul. Jurassic Power. Uh, I don't remember what that one is. It's Black Chick. Oh, he's got Judgment Anubis. It's time for battle. Tiki Curse. I don't think Tiki Curse did anything because it wasn't destroyed. Jurassic Power. He just keeps throwing them away and bringing them back. Oh no, he can. Odeon oh yeah, can be attacked now. They're both max powered up to the max. Odeon's like, yeah, no, I'm gonna put on everything in defense position. He's like, I'm gonna put everything in defense position. He's like, I don't feel safe. Bye. I got another one. I got three. Wait. I Bye. <laughs> Odeon's like, I'm going to keep some of my trap monsters. There is no end of my trap monsters, you fool. Take it on the Merrick persona. There is no end of my trap monsters, you fool. You don't understand Tiki's curse. The curse is every time you destroy a trap monster. Ooh, Temple of the Kings. Damn. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Rex is about to get molly whopped by, um, by straight uh, tokens. Man, he didn't, even, he didn't even summon out Sir Cat. He's like, man, I don't need Sir Cat. Get out. It's over. It's over. Odeon moves on. Good job, Odeon. Good job. Even though he didn't summon Sir Cat, or he didn't summon one mystical piece of Sir Cat, but, but it's fine. Anyway, Odeon moves on. Also, he had Ra. I, I, I'll just tell you, he had Ra. He has raw. All right. Do 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 do. All right. Next is Bones versus Duke Devlin. All right. Uh, F and chat for Bones. I'm just kidding. Bone. Now y'all are gonna be mad at what I gave Bones, but I'm not gonna tell you. I'm gonna let you figure it out. I'll let you guys figure out from a zombie deck what I could have given uh, Bones. I just want, I want you guys to guess what could I have given bones to upgrade his deck a smidge just just a bit just a just a bit a smidge summon dice 1000 you land on six dice the dungeon is gone it died it's dead T set. <laughs> it's the Castle of Dark Illusions. Mizuki. You just gave him. A, you gave him Strike Ninja, Dragons uh, with Zombie World, Turbo and Super Poly. Maybe. I mean, you can clearly tell he has extra. He has extra decks. I don't know why he removed Strike Ninja and made him disappear. True to the doom. Get out. If I'm going out, you're coming with me. Ah! That was a foolish play. Because now Red Eye Zombie comes forth. And then Return of the Zombie returns. Pumpkin! Let's go! Robe of Life! It's got 25. Enough to kill Pumpkin. Six. Damn. Bye, pumpkin. Return of the zombie. He said, he said, nah, I want my pumpkin back. My pumpkin. Red Eyes is like, hey, yo, what am I, chopped liver? He's like, yes. <laughs> you are a chopped liver. 
the 13th raid. Return of the Zombies. Pump King return. Return of the Zombies. <laughs> Bones is like, you'll never get rid of my Pump King. You'll never get rid of my King of the Ghosts. I'm a ghost and a pumpkin. And we're approaching Halloween. Oh, okay. Well, you got rid of it. Um, I don't know. I, I don't know. Uh, uh, Bones like, um, e, ooh, ah. Return of the zombie! <laughs> I lied. I got my pumpkin back. I, I could just imagine Duke is like, uh, 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 come on, bro. I keep killing your pumpkin. You keep bringing it back. Can we just leave it in the graveyard? Bones is like, ha, no. I was going to say, oh, oh, that was not a, that was not a good play. You shouldn't have did that. Orgoth. It's Orgoth, the relentless. 3-1-4. It's over for Bones. It's over. Unless he gets that one card he really needs. He didn't get it. I gave him a uh, Golden Lord. I gave him Golden Lord and then the fusion between the two. Since uh, he's not going to win here. Uh, Orgoth, slice him down. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Uh. All right, Dart. Uh, Duke moves on. I actually thought Bones was going to get get the uh, one card, get Golden Lord. But sadly, he did not. Very upset. Very, very upset. Actually, I'm very pup set. Anywho, M with with uh, Duke moving on. Uh, all right, let's do this and this and that and those and this. Our next match is Leon versus Vex. All right. Nothing really changed with Leon or uh, Vex's deck. Their decks kind of stayed the same since, their, since uh, Leon's deck is actually straight from the anime. And Vex was a uh, Vex is one that I created. I created Vex. I'm sure none of you guys probably know what I've created and what isn't created at this point. And Vex may get an updated deck too. She she may get an updated deck later on. Or maybe it'll do, be a different version of her. I don't know. We'll, we'll have to see what uh, what happens. Brain control. Give me your sheep. Or let's see what I got here. Oh, Black Pendant, Witch. My sheep and witch attack. I would have sacrificed. Oh, <laughs> it just takes it. Hey, that's my gimmick. Just just takes the monster to use it to attack and then gives it a summon skull. Summon Skull is here to cause damage. Kill the puppet. Give me my card back. Vex is like, give me my freaking card back. Vex is like, what are you going to do against the Summon Skull? Change of heart. Your monster works for me, but I'm sacrificing both of them. Puppeteer, give me your stuff. What does Black Knight do? Oh, Iron Hans. Puppeteer. Oh, it can take two of your opponent's monsters. That's that's crazy. It's like, here, give me those. Oh, I wouldn't have gotten rid of that monster, but okay. It's still not strong enough. It's 100 points short. And it's dead. Time seal. Oh, nope. He said nah. Leo was like, no, I want to draw. I want to draw next turn. The Golden Castle of Stromberg. 2k oh no give me that oh just moved it to a different position oh no vex your deck vex is gonna get cooked here take two of my cards that you that you can't use ow vex no vex got cooked Vex, no. No. All right. Vex is out. Leon moves on. 
just because that dang castle Stromberg is un unbeatable as uh, Hit would say from uh, Dragon, Dragon Ball Super. My time stop is unbeatable. All right, Leon moves forth. And, oh, well, it seems like uh, that Stromberg crashed crashed us, um, crashed my camera, so uh, we'll be right back. Damn that Stromberg. This is why we don't allow cards that are, uh, this is why Kaiba, did, this is why they don't allow cards that aren't supposed to be here, that are supposed to be prizes and just for me, just to be put on your wall. Because stuff like this happens. Very upset, but it happens. Sometimes the cameras go down. Don't do any duels, duelists. Don't do a single duel without me being able to see. And the viewers need to see as well. Of course. Alright, I think we got the cameras back up. Alright, so our last match of round one. Is the Beast King versus a Valon. Valon, Valon, however you want to say his name. I don't really care. I don't care you want to say his name. Beast King versus Valon. Paste. Alright, where is Beast King? And then Valon. There he is. Let's go. Nimbomo Manga, Machine Assembly Line, Kushido Spirit, Jet Gauntlet, the Kitty's Bag. Not Nimbomo Manga. You played right into Beast King's hand. Now he has 1,000 more life points than you. It's a doge. Switch to armor. Dang. That was sad. Use it on my manga. Not the dog. Luckily, the dog goes back in the deck. So then, uh... <laughs> so, so then, uh, Beast King never runs out of cards. He'll never run out of cards. Always have one card left. The scapegoats. Car of greed. That's very greedy. <laughs> Not the orange one. No manga. Played right into his hand again. <laughs> he wanted that destroyed. Oh no, not the pink one. Why the pink one? It's the panda. Beast King, you gotta stop attacking, man. You can't attack if you don't if you if you can't kill it. Because your defenses, your defense monsters are whittling away. Big bang blow. Oh shit. He's got a full field. How? How? No, the bubonic plague monster. Uh oh. The seal of Oricalcos. Is he gonna activate this? He activated the seal. I don't know how you can only attack the monster. 
Well, but, uh, <laughs> Beast King has a defense now. The dog. What are you gonna change it to? Oh, okay. Six six hundred. Uh oh. The dog no. Polymerization. Master of Ham. We've got the bubonic plague monster back. It's time for battle. Beast Fang, pick 500 more, and then take 300. Running fair from Master of Ham. Oh. Maybe Beast King might be able to summon itself out. Oh, well, never mind. Oh. Okay, it was a draw game. It was a draw game. They got to duel again. They have to duel again. We got it. We got it. We got a. We got a double match here. We got a. We got a draw match. We got to do another one. That's the first time we ever had a draw match. Guardian Chimera, Beast King. Beast King was waiting. Beast King was waiting. He said, "Nah." He said, "This ain't over." Valen, Valen was like, "Nah, we running it back." And Beast King's like, I'm, I'm not running it back with you. I want this duel over. I'm tired of this. Fiber Jar. He reset the whole field. He reset everything. It's like the duel never even existed. Oh my goodness. <laughs> you can't make that. You can't make this shit up. You can't make it up. <laughs> Bro literally got watched getting bombers aged again. He's like, he's like, I don't got nothing on the field, so I'll just summon out Master of Ham. Oh nah, it is over. Oh, can it not be destroyed? Oh, it can't be destroyed. No, stop attacking it. You, bro, you missed. We had a draw game. We had a draw game between these two, so we had to do another match. It was crazy. You have to. You'll have to rewatch. You'll have to rewatch it. Like no, like we had a fucking draw match. It was crazy. And then the start of this, bro, summoned uh, Garden Camara, attacked for thirty-three damage, and then um, and then Valen set Fiber Jar, Fiber Jar face down, attacked it, and reset the whole field. That was crazy. That was some crazy shit right there. I don't know how Valon did that, but he dealt both of them 65,000 damage, which ended the duel in a draw. That's the first draw we've ever had. <gasps> the King of the Beasts! He's come forth. All right, all right, okay, I was going to say, is he just going to keep shuffling around? The King of the Beasts is here. Run in fear. Because I am here. <laughs> Die. No, you can't do this. <laughs> yeah, I mean, this is crazy. You'll have to watch. You'll have to watch back. It was crazy. And this is the last duel of round one, too. Which is absolutely baffling that that happened. It's funny because my boy Jordan was always talking about what happens if there's a draw match. And I was like, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. Maybe they they duel again. He said, well, what if it keeps happening? Then I guess they'll. I guess for the next draw match, they'll, whoever deals the first damage wins. But I'll let the I'll let the duel continue forth, or I'll just let them duel again. I mean, I don't care. As long as it's not at the draw match, then I don't care. If it's another draw, then whoever dealt the first damage would be the winner. Because we're not going to stay on the same two characters for the same, for the whole damn tournament. Because they want to keep uh, drawing. They want to keep, <laughs> keep, keep draw matching the duel. Beast King had, had him on the run. Beast King had Valon on the run in the beginning of the second duel here. And Valon said, uh, no, Fiber Jar, reset the field. And then bro pulled polymerization and watch cat again 
and then just fuse for master of ham instead. He's like, I got no monster on the field. I'll, I'll just fuse for ham instead. Just ham and cheese. I just want some ham and cheese. Scapegoat. He doesn't need them. He doesn't need them, but he just wants them for defense. Rising Beast. He said, I'm going to give my scapegoat a boost in power. And I don't know how long that stays. Maybe it stays for two turns. I think. I think it's two turns. Berserking. I don't even know what that does. I think it switches the attack points or something. Rising Beast. Oh, he's a boot. Oh, he's boosting up the tokens. He he's boosting up the tokens. Holy crap. No. Not the token. Not the blue token, man. Come on. Valon's over here. Like, I'm not losing to no man. I'm not losing to no man's beasts. His his armor is is above all. His armor is what what wins. Damage condenser. Buster arm. He's got all the arms on the field. I mean, one more attack and it's it's over because he's got 1850 on the field. But is it over though? Because he still has a back row, he still has the effects. He gave it 1950. <laughs> he said, he said, all right. And it's over. It's over. Beast King wins. That's that was crazy. You can if you saw that, re-watching that, that was crazy. Bro had a draw match. I did not expect a draw match from Valon. But that was a crazy duel. We got to see them duel twice because of that draw. But anyway, the King of Beasts move on. Good job, Valon. You, you thought you had a chance, and you did not. You got clapped by the King of Beasts. How does that make you feel? I can already, I can already see uh, Valon's face like... <sighs> Fuck. <laughs> All right. Now it's one, two, round two, round two! All right. All right, for our first match of round two is Abnar Odom versus Spirit Yuki. Wait, what the fuck? Wait a minute. Oh, I see. I had I made a mistake and switched the. Uh, forgot Spirit Yuki won. I put Bandit Keith down here by mistake. I don't know why I did Bandit Bandit Keith. Bandit Keith lost. It was Spirit Yugi that moved on. I don't know why I moved fucking Bandit Keith down there. Anyway, my mistake. I fixed it. I have rectified it. So let's get the Spirit Abnar Odom and uh, Spirit Yugi in their duel. Abnar Odom. And you and you guys already know what Abnar Odom's running. He's running his uh, deck from uh, the Kaiba Championship uh, from the show. Abnar Odom and Spirit, 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 Yuki. There he is. Let's begin. Ooh, okay. Starting off with an enemy card that do doesn't really do anything. Ancient city, ancient tome, ancient tome, ancient gate, ancient tome, ancient tome, wandering mummy, and and that's his turn. <coughs> Ordeal of the traveler. It's the wandering mummy. Activate the effect. Go face down. Now it can't go face down, and it's dead. Karibo, scratch him. Bite his ankles, you little ankle biter. Emergency provisions. 
Oh no. Either this is gonna be a Deco duel or he's gonna have a chance to uh That can't go face down, so gonna feel. Oh, he said nah, I'm on my dark magician. Dark magic attack! Abnar Odom is cooked. Bro is cooked. He got all those life points for nothing. All those life points were for naught. Oh, 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 oh. It's the ancient key. He's got the giants, but they, they backfire. If they don't attack, you take 500 points of damage. It would be, be good to have a card that like switches them, like Snatch Steel, but Snatch Steel gives your opponent gives your opponent life points. You gotta guess what's in my hand before you can attack me. Guess what's in my hand? Monster? You're wrong. Dark Magician, no! Omnar Odom is like, Abnar Odom is like, nah, I'm, I'm getting rid of myself. I'm not gonna give you the satisfaction spirit. And so he's like, okay, that's fine. I don't care. He's over here like, I don't care. You can destroy yourself. I'll get it perfect. I'm taking no damage yet. Not the legendary gambler. Not the legendary gambler. Not the cat. You could have sacrificed the catapult turtle. Bro, Mr. Fish, are you seeing this? Bro, throw away catapult turtle. Can you believe that? Oh, he wanted Dark Magician. That makes sense. Guess what's in my hand? Trap card? Nope. Spell card. Dark Magician. I cannot. <laughs> Mr. Fish, Mr. Fish's heart is like, bro, how can you do this? Mirror Force. Mr. Fish over here is like, I can't believe that this man really threw away a uh, turtle. 3k guess what's in my hand oh you got it right this time good job good job good job he got it right now he better not guess oh well he's probably gonna guess oh he won't have to guess because that's that it's over it's over bro didn't even draw bro said i don't need the draw i'm just gonna kill you i'm just gonna send you the chatter on you wrong but no no and it's just dead just ceased to exist Anyway, Spirit Yuki moves forth. Was there ever any doubt that he wasn't going to move forth against a deck that pretty much doesn't do much? It, it doesn't really do much. Like, its main purpose is to get out that big dragon. If it doesn't get the dragon out, you're kind of screwed. But anyway, Spirit Yuki moves on. Next, we have Rebecca Hawking versus Raphael. And then while this duel starts, I'm going to go get a drink because I'm thirsty. Hopefully, the duel doesn't end before I get back from getting a drink. Hopefully. Because it happened the one time I, I, I left. I got up, left to get a drink, and I came back, and the duel was already over. It was over before it even started. Now, Raphael has some upgraded cards from the anime, so he has a lot of anime support. Bro is like an anime support the teeth. Rebecca also has some anime cards, but I took some inspiration by looking up what cards she had in the show and went off of what I had the best what I had the best mindset on what she would use, including including one of the games. There was a game also that she was in, and I just combined the anime and stuff. I did just get the gold last little climb for uh Cog. What what is what is what does Cog mean? King of Games, is that what you mean? Last time before King of Games. Uh, I already put Rebecca Hawk in um, I need to find Raphael. Because it's weather. Yeah, okay, so I was right. It's King of Games. But anyway, I'll be right back. I'm going to go get a drink because I'm thirsty.
All right, I'm back. What did I miss? Oh, I see. I see Rebecca's down at 1,000. Mmm. She's hurting herself here. He said, no, you're not destroying my monster. And it's over. I come back and the duel's over. Raphael moves on. Good job, Raphael. All right, all right. And down you go. Anyway, with that being said, Raphael moves on. All right, I'm not happy about this next duel. <laughs> I'm not happy about this next one. No, I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. This was going to be interesting. Our next duel is Siegfried versus Khalil. Very interesting. Very interesting. Siegfried is known to uh, one KO, one tap his opponent. So let's let's hope that uh, Khalil doesn't get one tapped. Let's just hope he doesn't. Now, Siegfried has his anime card, so um, yeah, I'm a little nervous for Khalil here. Let the duel begin. Uh oh. That's not good. Oh! Go face down. Go to sleep. Mmm. 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 Bro top decked Regeki. Can't you can't make that up. Can't make it up. Bro said, let me Regeki you. Nebulous ring! Oh, no, not on Sangin. Monster Reborn, he's bringing it back. He said it, it's not going to be gone forever. Oh, you're taking 1,000 points of damage, you fool. Rainbow Bridge. I don't know what that card does. Man, Khalil doesn't have nothing. Giant true nade, return return all you spells and traps. He just said I'll I'll replay it again and gain some more life points. Ah uh, Khalil's getting cooked, he's getting cooked. Not the dragon. Khalil's running on draw just drawing cards oh no he's about to get cooked he's about to get cut up by some valkyries man final light oh no it's another one but he gets his dragon back oh no it's gonna die ah it comes back just to die oh no if Cole doesn't get something now it's over it's over if that card is not manning your bug it's over Mm. Four star lady bug was not gonna save you. All right, what's this? Man, your bug. If that's not mirror force, oh well, it doesn't matter. It's over. It wasn't mirror force. It was solemn warning. Oh, now he's just flexing. He's like, let, let me flex a little bit. It's over. Ah. All right, Zigfried moves on. Khalil, you got you have to go to the Shadow Realm, but I don't want to go to Shadow. I don't care. Get out. Get out. Get out. All right. Our next match is Yami Merrick versus me, and I am scared. I am scared. I'm scared for this version of myself. Uh, you might add, um. Uh, Mr. Fish, make sure you have the uh, flamethrower uh, ready because I don't want this version of me to lose to this insane guy. Because Yami Merrick is an insane mofo, and I'd rather not uh, leave my uh, leave my alternate self with the scars this man is about to put on him. Locked and loaded, sire. 
but I'm happy to see that. This is just so that this version of me doesn't suffer. That's all. If he loses, because he's gonna have some mental, he's gonna have some mental, uh, mental troubles after this duel if he loses. Let's go. Bye bye. Oh, he got rid of tribute barrel. Barrel dragon. Uh oh. Oh, it's blue eyes. Breaker, the magical warrior. Destroy. Okay, it seems like it seems like this version of me is doing pretty well against uh Yami Merrick. The tricky for Blue Eyes White Dragon. Well, it's gone now. Ugh. Uh. Holding legs, there's no monster for you to hold its legs. Hello, Ryokami, how are you? Trap cards, you are wrong. Put it back. You made it for uh, round one to already been done. We're on round two now. He stole he stole the blue eyes white dragon. I'm doing fine. You're just really thirsty. Even though I just drank two drinks. Just a card in my head. It's a monster. No, not the shield. Guess what's in my hand? Monster? Uh, how'd you know? Ah! Ugh, cost down. Why would you do that? That's a foolish play. Now you're going to lose your incompetence. Mr. Fish, get the flamethrower ready. We're gonna have to purge! Purge this man! Purge this man, Mr. Fish. He's trying to make a run for it. Get out! Purge this man! Make sure he ceases to exist. But anyway, uh, Yami Merrick uh, moves forth. Good job, Yami Merrick, you crazy motherfucker. Uh, purge this version of me, because he's, he's got some mental issues, because he lost the uh, Yami, he lost the Yami Merrick. I just don't want him to suffer. All right, our next match is the Spiritual Monk ver versus Bothig. All right, all right, let's go. Now nah, I just pull out the good old JFK on him. <laughs> To snipe him from like 200 feet away. Ah! That ultra version of myself is like, no, please have mercy. No. Ah! The spiritual monk. And where's both big? Both. I'm both big. Both fig and the spiritual. Oh wait, nope, did that backwards. Oopsie, oopsie, doopsie. Uh, where's the spiritual monk? Spiritual monk and both fig. Uh, excuse me, and let's begin. Welcome to the mountains. It was an explosive round too, so we went. Yeah, but so before I got the password, uh, I made him disappear. I made him go. 
I made him explode. White Knight Dragon. Oh, it's a big, it's the big spirit guy. Oh, okay. Bro's gonna equip it with all of them. The spirit of not playing today, but that card goes back to the hand. Luckily, he gets a chain three here. One, two, three. Oh yeah, uh, Ryu, since you're just tuning in, um, guess guess what? Um, we had we had our first draw duel today between Valon and um, I forget. It was between it was Valon and um. Beast King versus Beast King and Valon. Valon uh, drawed the duel. So then they had the duel again. You'll have, you have to watch that one for round one. It was crazy. And Bothick moves fourth. Let's go. Let's go. Good job, Bothick. Can't keep the dragon. Can't keep the dragon player down. Can't keep us dragon players down. Bothick moves fourth. Spiritual Monk's got to go home. He's got to go back home to the spirit realm. He's just not cut out. He said, wow, that's fucked up. <laughs> hey, look, man. It happens. All right, Mr. Fish. You might want to pay attention to this duel. We have Seto Kaiba versus Seeker. Now, Seto Kaiba has gotten some upgrade cards. And that duel crashed us again. Okay, the cameras got crashed again. We'll be right back. We'll be back after these after these uh, messages. Stop crashing. Um, after these messages that will not appear on screen because we don't have any ad messages. Because we don't believe in ads here. Oops. All right, cameras are back up and ready to go. Well, yeah, the AI is only human. You're right. You're very right. The AI is only human. <laughs> Partly human. All right, let's get this let's get this duel up and running, shall we? All right, Mr. Fish, keep your eye on this duel. I'm sure you'll be interested to see if uh, the Seeker pulls out his uh, pulls out Exodia or not, or Seto Kaiba using some of the new cards I have given him. Uh, all right, let's get this duel underway. And no, I did not give Seto Kaiba any ritual monsters because I don't really think anybody would be able to get rid of them. <clears throat> anyway, let's go. Let's see who goes first. Pot of Prosperity. What's he going to choose? He chose another pot. I see a new blue eyes card that banishes three cards. To three. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's not new. Rage of uh, Blue Eyes is not new. That card's existed for a while. It's a Flute of Summoning Dragon. Oh. He had both Blue Eyes in his hand. Oh, nah. Kaiba's not playing games with Seeker. He's not playing games. So Seeker's got to go fast. Well, yeah, it would be new to you. That That's fair. Pot of Greed. Swords of Revealing Light. Swords of Revealing Light. Dark Hole. Seeker's like, oh! Seeker's gonna be like, oh! He got Exodia! <laughs> he got Exodia! <laughs> Somebody played it against you in Master Duel. Oh, they, oh, they played the Rage of uh, Blue Eyes against you in Master Duel. Damn. Yeah, the only thing that sucks about it is you have to pay a good portion of your life points. And I dropped my phone. Hold on. Obliterate that motherfucker. <laughs> bro, bro was like, bro had 38,000 life points left. He was getting Womble comboed. And he's like, he's like, oh, oh. If you didn't, if you didn't activate swords, 
if he did not activate Swords, he was screwed. He would have been screwed. But bro must have, he must have literally had like, he must have had a couple, look, look at his hand. He had two right legs. So he must have, bro had two, yeah, two left legs. Bro had two left legs. Are they a left leg? Oh yeah, bro had, oh, yeah, two of the left legs. Yeah, he must have drew all of that off the break. He was like, huh, I only need one piece left. <laughs> and he said he got wombo comboed by the blue eyes. He's like, okay, I need to speed this up. I gotta go fast. I gotta, I gotta go Sonic speed. Bro, some of the scuffed Exodia. <laughs> anyway, Seeker moves on. I can, I can already imagine uh, Kaiba's face. Kaiba's just like, no, not again. Exodia, obliterate. No. Anyway, Seeker moves on. <laughs> For once, he actually moves on. All right. Our next match. Oops. Where am I? Where am I? Where am I? Oh, yeah, I'm right here. Next match is Weevil Underwood versus Evil Rex Raptor. The one with the forbidden third leg. Oh, the third leg. Oh no. Just imagine you get, you have like, I want you to imagine you have like two of a piece of Exodia. So you have like two legs or two arms or two heads. And then when you summon Exodia, Exodia has two heads, three arms, or three legs. That would be fucking crazy if they would animate that shit. If, if they ever revamp Yu-Gi-Oh! Like they like they do with all these other shows, they revamp it instead of like changing the audio or um or the lines, they just make it look better. And cut out the filler like Dragon Ball Z does with Dragon Ball with their remakes of like Dragon Ball Z Kai that cuts out filler. That's what Yukio needs. Yukio uh, Duel Monsters needs uh, a revamp where it just cuts out filler. Like all the filler episodes, like Kaiba's Grand Championship, the Orikalkos, because that's not canon the virtual era you know all the things that are filler should be taken out and then just show what is canon to the story and hey no 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 no. if you cut the filler you do get half of the series but you can mix in the manga stuff too you could always mix in manga with it and just make new episodes for the manga portion you know follow everything from duelist kingdom and then after um after duelist kingdom you can go into the wicked gods because after Duelist Kingdom, because after Duelist Kingdom, Yako thinks it's Yuki's fault why his his uh, father or his stepfather or whatever is dead, even though Bakura is the reason why Pegasus dies in the manga, but he blames Yuki. But you, you get what I'm putting down. You get what I'm putting down now. I'm just saying. But anyway, other than me rambling on about something that's never going to happen, let's get into the duel. Uh, where's regular Weevil? We all underwood. And an evil Rex Raptor. Let's go. The filler killed Yukio. Yeah, it kind of did. I did like the filler arcs. They were they were good arts. It's just this took forever. The Seal of Oracalcos has been played. Someone may lose their soul. Shutters DM season four. People didn't like Castle Monsters. Don't forget capsule monsters. You had capsule monsters. Insect barrier. Oh yeah, I forgot to say I gave uh, Weevil some new insect cards. <laughs> Ew. I like capsule monsters. It was interesting. I liked it because it was just something new. Parasite, parasite. Tail swipe. What does that do? Oh, at least that put all your monsters back in your hand. Castle monsters. It it was kind of hard to follow, but I understood what it what it was all about because I played the PS2 game when I was younger, so I kind of understood what was going on to a degree. To a degree, the whole time when I was younger, I didn't know what was going on. I was like, oh, they're just shooting these capsules out to attack, and then oh, you take damage. It's red eyes. Stop swimming the croc roaches. It's like when Arto had fillers, it killed the enemy somewhat. I mean, filler does kill the anime because it like tell it goes down a main plot, and then the filler is like there, why they're waiting for more of the manga to come out, and then they come back around. 
That's what that's what they did with uh, with Dragon Ball. Dragon Ball did the same thing. Dragon Ball, its show was going on, and then when the manga came out, when the manga stopped making manga, they stopped and made a couple filler episodes, and then came back around back to the manga. To what I hear, I don't know if that's true or not, but some animes do that. Or like Akame ga kill, Akame ga kill will just be like, we don't give a fuck about the manga. We're gonna make our own ending. We don't care. <laughs> we do not care. We do not care. <laughs> and Weevil is just trying to survive. Weevil's like, bro, please. You have eight. You have eighty-four hundred life for Just let me live, please. Rex is like, hmm. How about this? No. <laughs> He was like, please, please. Ah. And it's over. Uh, Weevil lost his soul. He's never coming back. Weevil, Weevil has literally lost his soul. He ceased to exist. Uh, God, a bridge tainted my perspective. Rex and Weevil. I don't even remember. I don't remember what they, what they were like in the abridged. I don't remember and I don't want to know. I, I don't want to know. <laughs> I don't want to know. Um. Oh my goodness. Uh. I can only hear them doing the peeps and butt impressions. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's crazy. <laughs> You're crazy. Um, all right, our next match is Yami Bakura versus IN 4 M8. All right, IN, IN 4 M8, you gotta win this. You, you gotta win this. You gotta win this for uh, chat. Don't let Yami Bakura win. I did do a little bit for IN 4. I changed his deck a smidge. Just a smidge. I didn't change it too much from what his original deck was. And I took and I looked at his other deck in the game and took some cards from there to make the deck a little different. Also, Yami Bakor also has anime cards. Some of his iconic anime cards we would see in the subbed, not the dubbed. Yes, I am for putting in the work. He won round one, so if he could win round two, I'd be very happy if my comrade could win. Is. Let's begin. Now, Bakora does have Destiny Board, so we need to. We do not want to see that. It's a tablet. I don't even know what that did, but okay. I'm for about to give Bakora Wanker's cramp. <laughs> oh, Neo. We're in the Neo space now. He said, welcome to space, motherfucker. And he just said, I'll use polymerization anyway. Get out. Fusion recovery. Give me these cars back. And I set. <laughs> if I can't attack, I'll just destroy both our monsters. Of course, like, all right, let's have some peace real quick. I'm just kidding. Monster reborn. I'll take that. Uh, Fissure, get out. He's like, nah, uh, I'm gonna grab another thing and uh, I'll take another one of those. Thank you very much. The spiritualist. He threw E away. Well, he can't do Destiny Board now. For some reason, a bunch of references are coming to my head all of a sudden. I don't know why. Probably because you mentioned the Abridged series and now it's coming back to your memory. Rebirth Tab, are you taking UFO Turtle? Oh. I thought he was gonna take UFO Turtle for a second. He threw away Necro Necrosphear. Necrosphear. Battle. What are you going to do against a 21 attack point monster? Nothing. That's what you're going to do. Oh, that's what it does when you attack it. It gives him boost. It gives him life points when you take the damage. Don't attack that again, Iron Boy, please. He's tricking you. Shield Crush. Oh, what the hell? Damn it. Ah. All right, 
right, sorry about that. All right, fusion, uh, fusion sage. Okay, okay, he's got another poly. Well, Bacor's got a whole field, but with that card, it just burns. It does if it uses its burn ability because it burns for each card on the field, I believe. And now that is uh, it's it's game. Oh no, it's not. It still is affected by it. Oh, interesting. It's still gonna be game because he's just gonna burn him. It's not gonna attack. Iron Four will just burn him and it's over. Yeah, I, I knew he was gonna do that. Good, good job, Iron Four. Good job. You burned him out of the match. He, he got set ablaze. He's dead. Pretty much, he's dead because it's his shadow game. No. Ah. Ah. It burns. It burns. It burns. It burns my very soul. All right. So let's do that. I am four dash your mate moves forth. Oh no, we have a uh, we have a match from a uh, we have a cannon match. Are you guys ready for this cannon match? It's Yukimoto versus Vivian Wong. But which Yukimoto is this? Well, technically. Technically, it's not a cannon match. Yes, yes, I move on. <laughs> yes, it's true. Um, it's not really a cannon match, but it is a cannon match. I, I don't know. It's how you guys want to perceive it. Because technically, Yuki did duel. Yuki did technically duel Vivian, but it was Yami that took control. So I don't know if you count it. I count it. But anyway, let's get these two up on screen now. Yukimoto and Vivian Wong. Let's begin. It's the tiger. Now, y Yuki has uh, some of the to toy cards. He's got his toy monsters. Don't ask me how that card went into the field zone. Don't don't ask because I don't even know. Soul charge. Phase 500 and then it gets destroyed. Anyway. Magnet reverse. Bring it back. Red guy says no. I'm getting a card. Now I die. Ah. Oh well, it's gone now. So Yuki has nothing to fear. You can't have nothing to fear right now. Well, actually, he does have something to fear is getting Molly Whopped. Which he's literally getting Molly Whopped. One more attack from any of the. If, from one of the monsters, then it's over. She's like, mm mm. Uh uh uh. Uh uh uh. Oh no, the dragon 34. Holy crap. It's over. No, it's not. Mirror Force. Yuki said, ha, 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 you fought this duel's over. Nuh-uh. It's not over yet. Is a Silent Swordsman Bubble Zero. Not nine, Yun. Ah. Catapult Zone. And it's over. All right, you're doing too much. You already know it's over. All right, Vivian Wong moves on. Come on, Yuki. You let you let Vivian Vivian Wong win. What the hell? All right, Vivian moves fourth. All right. Next match is Alistair versus Evil Mai. Wasn't it? No, it was Valen that was in the my. I forgot. It was it was Valen that was in the my. Alistair was going after Kaiba. He had he had a uh, he had a rage boner against Kaiba over his father. The sins of the father fall on the son, but but I'm just his adopted son. Still the same. Doesn't matter. 
delle mai. I really was gonna call them Ori Calcos instead of like calling like uh, Rex Evil. Okay, she got. Okay, she got the seal off the break. Okay. Final attack orders. But he gets his robot tokens though. Terraforming. He got his seal. Is he gonna activate his seal? He activated his seal. He destroyed all his tokens. He said, I don't need them. World of Creed. No trap cards work anymore. Uh, never mind. I lied. Attack orders works. Just flips the monster in new attack position. That is a very dangerous thing. If your monsters are super low. Oh, no. Nah, she's cooking this man. He's losing his soul twice. Alistair's losing his soul twice. He's going to get one from hers and then one from his own. Why would you attack that? Did you want your monster destroyed? Oh, she says, I will be taking tactical. And it's over. Give him my moves on and Alistair loses his soul. Ah, my soul. Oh. So, all right. Do, 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 do. These matches are going a lot faster than I expected. Um, next match is Evil Weevil Underwood versus Freaky Fish Guy Mako Tsunami. All right. I didn't think these dudes were gonna go this fast. Paste and copy. Yep, freaky fish fish guy Mako. Which evil weevil underwood has some anime cards from the show too, so be on the lookout for some of those. Evil Weevil and Mako Tsunami aka Freaky Fish Guy. All right, starting with, with water control. Water hazard, the seven colored fish and the giant sea snake. Freaky fish tactical ops team in place. <laughs> Target locked. Eradicating. He said, I don't want those. Well, Weevil's kind of put himself in a bad spot here. He should have kept his tokens. Yep, it's Mago versus Weevil. Welcome in, Jeebles. Welcome in. You're 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 in you're in a, in for a treat. Close to the end of round two. You actually join at a good time because Bros Weevil's about to get cooked. It's Doom Kraken. Return. We'll be destroyed. Oh no, it's the centipede, but it's not strong enough. And it's over. Woo! Mako, let's go! Mako moves on. Oh, yeah. I forgot to mention, since uh, since some people are just joining in, we had our first draw during our first draw match during round one at the end. Freaky Fish Team, pull the trigger. Got it, boss. <laughs> nah, he didn't. Nah, he didn't shoot him. He didn't shoot him. He drowned that motherfucker. He drowned that motherfucker. Um, yeah, we had a draw match uh, for the last round, for round one of the last match that we came to round two. So you have to go back and watch that. You have to go back and watch it. It was crazy. It was fucking crazy. Um, what was he doing? I blinked out for a second. Oh, Mako won. I blinked out for a moment. Mako won. Okay, Mako moves on. Did I, okay, so, okay, I did that. Okay, I blanked out for a, a millisecond. Um, our next match is, he shot him with his harpoon. Ah, and they dragged, he, he, was on his, he finally got his boat, shot him with the harpoon, and then dragged him across the ocean. Ah, ah. Well, bye-bye, Weevil. It's a modded sniper. It has a modded sniper scope and everything. Damn, I didn't know Mako had money for a sniper scope. 
That's crazy. But uh, our next match is Yami Yuki versus Odeon. All right. And that duel uh, got our cameras wet. So uh, we'll be right back. <laughs> That's a statement. <laughs> All right, uh, we got new cameras. We always have extra cameras just in case if they get wet. Just in case. Cameras don't like being wet. Cause when they get wet, they get like they get very shocky. And then I have to get a new cameraman because he dies from the electrical shock from our cameras. Anyway, let's get Mikami, Yuki, and Odeon set up. All right, Yami Yuki versus Odeon. Odeon, 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 Odeon. Odeon. Let's begin. Chimera Fusion. I want it back. I'm going to do it again. And he had to throw away a card. Nice. Soul Exchange. I hate when they do this and they don't summon up, summon a monster worth of Soul Exchange. I hate it. It's just, it just freaks me the fuck out every time I see that happen. Just like, no, please don't Soul Exchange my monster. Oh, he got rid of Tiki Curse. Summon two. Oh. Oh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Dark Magician Girl. Hey. Yami Yuki's not playing. He does not want to see Ra come out. Oh yeah, I forgot to say Yami Yuki has a uh, Chimera support, Chimera, whatever, Chimera support, the new Chimera cards. And Odeon is pretty much dead. Yuki was not playing games. Yuki was not playing. Yuki was not playing no fucking games today. He was like, "Look, I gotta go. I got, I got things to do today, man. I'm trying to, trying to move on. You know, I'm trying, I'm trying to uh, get up to the top for once, and not just lose on purpose." All right. Ooh, this next match is uh, very interesting, if I do say so myself. Oh my goodness. All right. All right, something is going on here. Why is it doing this to me today? It was working all fine earlier, and now all of a sudden it just wants to, just wants to, everything just wants to stop working. It just wants to stop working for some reason, and I don't know why. Very upset. Computer, if you keep doing this, I'm gonna have to eat you out of a window. We're gonna we're gonna have to have a chat after stream, C computer. We're gonna have to have a chat if you keep doing this. We're gonna have to have a fucking chat. I do not want to have that chat with a sledgehammer. Anywho, let's continue. Uh, where were we? Oh, yeah. Well, Yami Yuki. Yami Yuki just defeated Odeon. So, our next match is Joy Wheeler versus Duke Devlin. So, the rematch between these two. Joy Wheeler has, uh... Joy Wheeler has some support. Uh, he has some support of the cards that have been remade. Remade. Red Eye support. Uh, Flame Swordsman support. Um... I think that's about it. And Duke Devlin just ha is just Duke Devlin. What did you say? I got a better I got a better way to fix the problem. What? What's the better way to fix the problem? Joy Wheeler and Duke. All right, I'm gonna let this I'm gonna let this uh, play. I'll be right back. Gotta fix something.
All right, I'm back, and I and I've seen some of the things that you guys were saying. Uh, yo, we're saying, uh, hit it with a hammer, hit your computer with a hammer, then window punt it, preferably from ten stories up. Rio says that's too simple. Let's melt some metal and pour it over the modem. Not the modem. It's not the modem's fault. It's the computer's fault. But anyway, as I can see, uh, Joey Joey Wheeler literally collapsed Duke Devlin and only lost 100 life points. That's crazy. Now I try to clean the pins on the board with this world's stiffest toothbrush. Bro, it's crazy. These people are tripping. But anyway, Joey Wheeler moves on. With barely a scratch on him. All right. So, do not. Okay, it didn't do it this time. Good, good. It's learning. It's learning. It's learning that it does not want to have this conversation. It does not want to have that conversation. So anyway, uh, next up is Jordan versus Evil Pharaoh. All right. So the Evil Pharaoh possesses some anime cards. So. Uh, F in chat for Jordan. Most likely he's going to get clapped. And if not, F in chat for uh, Evil Pharaoh. You, you, you pick. You guys pick. All right. All right. And Evil Pharaoh. Let's begin. Upstart Goblin, Dimension Capsule, Wall of Illusion, Bait Doll on, his, on the own card. It's a trap. Send it away. I don't need it. Jordan's like, I don't need that card. Excalibur, Excalibur, Excalibur. Change of heart. Give me that card. Oh, nah. He said, oh, okay. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe Jordan's cooking. Maybe, maybe the evil Pharaoh is, uh, isn't isn't up to snuff. Throw a card. Fencing fire a heavy storm. Damn, Evil Pharaoh's getting his ass kicked. Just by just by a regular. It's a regular guy. Yeah, Evil Pharaoh Evil Pharaoh may be evil, but Jordan's just too strong. I apologize that I ever had any, uh, that I ever had any doubts from you, Jordan. I apologize. I'd like to apologize for my foolishness. But anyway, Jordan moves on. Oh, he ain't gonna be happy when he sees this. <laughs> he's not gonna be happy if he duels. He duels in the next round. All right, second to last match. What the fuck, Pharaoh? He wasn't thinking. He was. He was. His mind was so evil that he didn't play. He didn't play right. He was like, oh, "I'm so evil." No, he's not the king of games. He's the pharaoh. This is evil pharaoh. He's not, the evil pharaoh is not the king of games. It's Yami Yuki that is the king of games. Anyway, second to last match is a Tem versus Leon. You ready for the true, it's the true one. It's the true name of the Pharaoh. He's here to clap some cheeks. He's here to show you how to play Egyptian style. Evil Pharaoh, he was an Egyptian zombie. Ah, that's fair. We need more Seeker gaming. Oh no, you'll get more Seeker. Trust me, he's in the next round, you know that. And no, not a mummy, a zombie. Oh, I thought I said zombie. My bad, my bad. All right, let's get let's get our boy Atem up in here, who has all of the anime versions of the Egyptian gods. So let's see if he actually gets them out, or if uh, Leon will uh, mill them out with Stromberg. The tricky. So you can say we gotta end up with the most cards in hand in Uno. Yeah, that's true. That's one hundred percent true. Dark Magic Curtain for Dark Magician. New Ma Magicians unite. 
fairy injection, Lily. Why would you pay 2k for a monster that's gonna die? He's the he's the limit living the he's the living embodiment of 25 draw meme. Oh, I, I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying now. Um, no, no, you did. I mean, for anyone who says Egyptian zombies, just some. Oh, okay, I see what you're saying. I think I see what you're saying now. Man, Leon is trying to keep up. <laughs> Leon is out here trying to keep up with with the Tem right now, and he's not doing well. Oh, he got Stromberg. That's not good. It's not good for the Pharaoh. Why did he attack that? Oh, I think Stromberg makes you attack all monsters. Stromberg says, uh, no. Uh, no. Stromberg says, mill your cards. Oh, he's, <laughs> Leon said, I'll take that. I'll summon this. Uh, game, good game. <laughs> He's like, good game. <laughs> Leon's like, good game. Attempts like, this is some bullshit. But anyway, Leon moves on. Two pharaohs getting cooked. Look, look, I'm not going to lie. Leon with the Stromberg card. I'm not going to lie. Leon with the Stromberg card makes him broken, okay? The only way to beat him is by... Dealing damage to him. But any anyway, anywho, with that being said, our last match of round two will be Arcana versus Beast King. So uh F in chat for Arcana. The only card that Arcana has is the card, the one anime card he used in the show. The one trap card, um balance or whatever. Beast King. All right. Uh, one got cooked by a regular dude. The other got cooked by a nine-year-old. Hey, look. The nine-year-old was cheating, all right? He was using a cheat card. How can you blame him for getting cooked by a card he can't beat? Arcana and Beast King. Our right, effing chat for Arcana. Arcana is probably gonna get cooked here. Messenger Peace. Got my finger. Watch Cat. Poison Fag. Beast Striker. Moja. You can't attack, sadly. Arcana is just gonna set up everything he needs. With all the BS happening, I don't know, man. <laughs> Send another one for Emoja again. Catnip Kitty. Zero defense. Ma anti magic arrows. There's a lot of BS going on here. Swords. The Dark Magician. Thousand Knives. Polymerization. What do you feel for? Master of Ham. The Vermin. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of BS going on here. You and Ryu both miss. You, Ryo, and Mr. Fish all miss the. Um, you all miss the draw duel that that was in round one. You guys will have to go back and watch that. You'll have to go back and watch that. It's the King of the Beasts. Too bad he can't attack. Because the Messenger of Peace. This is a deck out game. Our Arcana all Arcana just wants to uh to make a uh, Beast King mill out. He wants to win by mill. The closed forest. Welcome to the forest. He made it lower so it could attack. It was a nice move. He boosted up one so he could attack. That's a nice move there. Berserk! Attack. Ow. That's a lot of damage. Ooh, cause he's burning his house down. Berserk. 
it's not enough. You, you need to boost him up a little more. But I don't think anything with 15 or over can't can't attack. Okay. I know why he did that. He's like, mm, I need some life points. He's like, mm, let me have some life points real quick. Berserk King! 1650, still not enough. It's not low enough. 15 or lower. The Dark Magician! Mystic Tomato! Dustin Rivals! He was like, he was like, bro, attack me. Attack. He's like, Gojo, attack me, attack me. <laughs> He's like, attack me, attack me. He's like, Arcana's like, I do not want you getting any more life points. He's like, let me, let me drop this real quick. Uh, attack me. Oh, oh, thank you. Thank you for the thousand life points. But now I'm, now I'm like beyond what I need to be at. Thank you. <laughs> Now you can't attack me. Now he's got the panda. He's got the panda on the field. Another messenger of peace. And stealth bird. Uh-oh. What he need what he needs is battle mania. <laughs> beast King needs battle mania to make them all attack, make his opponents attack him. But now he's going to be losing 200 points per turn now because he has two messengers apiece on the field. <laughs> oh, this is crazy. It's a battle who mills out first, pretty much. <clears throat> oh, nope. This, this changes everything. Ectoplasma literally changes everything. What do you going to sacrifice? Sacrifice tomato. All right, Beast King, what are you going to sacrifice at the end of your turn? No, oh, he sacrificed no, no mon Momonga. Beast King may still have this in the bag because he's going to be sacrificing stuff. So it's, it's the matter of just sacrificing at this point. Oh, he said no. He said, I'll get rid of my Dark Magician. It's, it's in Arcana's character to get rid of Dark Magician, so... Moss Reborn. Ectoplasm, what are you getting rid of? Ooh, nice choice, nice choice. Two Ectoplasm. I wonder, does it, do they both, oh, they both pop. Oh, interesting. I didn't know that. Now, what are you getting rid of? Does he have to get rid of two monsters or just one? Oh, he does have to get rid of two. Yeah, that's death for that is death for Arcana here. Arcana kind of uh, locked himself. Bro locked himself. He's like, um, I think I made a fatal error. And Beast goes, like, oh, ha, 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 ha. this is why they call me the king. And he gets a dog back, so he'll never mill out of cards. So pretty much, Arcana lost his duel from the beginning. He's, he's got the Dark Magician, the Dark Magical Circle. Oh, 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 oh shit. The Beast King is back and his subordinate is here. Beast King was like, it's over. It's over for you. Goodbye, Arcana. This was a fun duel. But I think it's time we end this game. Bye. <laughs> ah. All right, Beast King moves on. With how many turns was that? With a 36 turn duel. <laughs> oh my goodness, that is hilarious. That is, that is funny. That was a funny duel. Beast King was like, ha ha ha, there was no way you were gonna beat me. My dog always comes back to my deck. And it seems like you don't have any cause to go back to your deck. Yeah, Arcana goofed, he goofed. All right, <clears throat> on to round three. For round three, for our first match, we have Spirit Yuki versus Raphael. All right. This little Yuki in spirit form. <clears throat> this is why magicians 
What is this is why magicians are weak to literal beasts. <laughs> Cause they're they just get clapped. Boo, what are you booing about? What are you booing about? Raphael or, or Spirit Yuki? Or both of them. I just need to know. Oh, Raphael. Why don't you like Raphael? He got he got redeemed. Bro got redeemed. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh spirit, spirit. <laughs> Well, be lucky that Kaiba got out. Be lucky Kaiba got out by Exodia. He had to rel relive his trauma. Uh, where, where's Raphael? Oh, there he is. I'm blind. Explains why I have to wear glasses. So Yamayuki and a Tim got cooked, but Beast King clapped their king without attacking. Yeah, pretty much. You know, the magicians try to do some card trick and then get eaten by a bear. That's true. That's fair. Let's trade. Oh wait, I mixed the sides up. I I mixed it up. Hold on, I gotta re I have to redo that. I mixed the sides up. I literally mixed the sides up. I put I put I did it wrong. I did it fucking wrong. Damn it. Okay, now we're fixed. We're good now. We're good now. We're Gucci. We're good. I, I, we're good now. I thought I, I, I my mind said you did it the wrong way, so I, I, we're, we're the right way now. And he gets two cards now because he sacrificed his whole hand for a guardian for the uh, guardian treasure card. Never picking magic users again, ever again. Two more cards. Nothing that he can use. Oh yeah, just because everybody's here now. So first place prize is 25 gift card of choice. Second prize is a $20 gift card of choice. And third place is a $15 card. A uh, $15 gift card of choice. Spirit Yuki, no. <laughs> no. Damn, Spirit Yuki's getting clapped. Seeker better not ruin my parlay again. <laughs> well, Spirit Yuki's out. Not with this cracked out draw power. <laughs> uh, yeah, he's cracked. Bro's cracked. Um, anyway, Raphael moves on. Good job, Raphael. You move on. All the Yukis are out. <laughs> Damn it, Yuki! <laughs> Damn it! Alright, so next we have... Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord, please help. <laughs> please help me for this next match. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Alright. The next match is... Siegfried versus Yami Merrick. We all know how this might go. Hey, come on, work for me. Here we go. Uh, do 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 do. Paste. Uh, every time I see an addition user, I will chuck, I will chuck up the deuces. Peace out. <laughs> yes, yummy Merrick. Well, well, I mean, I, I mean. Jeebles, he's going against Siegfried. Do you not know Siegfried has an OTK? He's the literal, he's the first character to ever have an OTK in the show. Other than Kaiba and uh, Yuki. But they needed, I mean, technically, Kaiba only needed one card to do it. Yuki needed five. He also needed three blue eyes. So, I, I say it still counts. <laughs> Kill him. Wait a minute. I can still, yeah, you can still hope. I mean, I'm not saying you can't hope. He 
Let's see, give me 500 points. Pot of greed, bait doll. What is this? Get it out. That's exactly what he wanted. Card of Sanctity. Yeah, that card, I'm just going to let you know, it's going to constantly say Turtle Protect, Turtle Protector over and over again. Oh, they were the same. It's just going to keep guessing that. It doesn't know any other card. And that card it keeps guessing is always a, uh, is a ritual. I mean, not a ritual, a rush duel card. Also, this Merrick has the uh, anime Roth. I have not said that for anyone here before. So if he summons Raw, I don't know if it'll break it. It'll break the simulation or not. Because he has he has the monsters that are needed. If he has Raw, he can summon it. Stop. Get what's that card again? Oh, okay. back equipped to keep it alive oh I see what he's doing but it won't matter because Merrick can do burn and that thing keeps gaining as long as it's still in the field equipped to it it's protected by that what's this card <laughs> give it a bow we see it's defense by night uh, we see it's defense bow again okay Merrick's literally out here just getting his monsters boosted. Oh, that's over. Let's go, Merrick. Let's go. Upset he has not summoned Ra. Very upset about that. But, you know, sometimes sometimes we get Ra, sometimes we don't. Sometimes we get the big chicken, sometimes we don't. Anywho, Yami Merrick moves forth. Bothig. Bothig. Our next match is Bothig versus Seeker. Give me one second. I gotta fix something real quick. Merrick out of here doing the Lord's work. <laughs> yes, right, real commies work. <laughs> All right. Our next match is both thick versus seeker. All right, so uh, you ready? You guys ready to see uh, both thick get OTK by Exodia? Cause it seems like Seeker is doing uh, Mr. Fish's uh, will. So far, so far, Seeker is doing Mr. Fish's will. Both big and seeker, seeker, where is seeker? There he is. Let's go. He's gonna draw all five pieces already off the break. Oh, I lied. He always starts with mountains. Every time, every time, both things starts with mountains. Pot of prosperity. Let's see what he chooses. Oh, he chose the guardian. He said, "Give me, my, give me the monster." Pot of prosper. I mean, du pot of duality. What do you can choose? The head of Exodia. And set. Both things. All right, let's go. Ow. Pot of prosperity. Throw six more cards away. What are you gonna grab? Pot of Prosperity. I mean, Pot of Duality. Pay 800. Pot of Duality. What are you going to grab? Jar of Avarice. Alright, both things. Like, alright, I know this man's got Exodia. I got to fuse. Five headed dragon. Jar of Avarice. He's like, uh, I'm going to put all these cards back in my deck. Alright, Seeker for to get if Seeker doesn't get Exodia soon or a or if something to defend his life points, it's over. 
He's staring down a five-headed dragon. Pot of Greed. Upstart Goblin. Pot of Greed. Sort of really light. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, shit. Mr. Fish is going to be pissed. <laughs> Mr. Fish is going to be mad if this dude loses. <laughs> Is that Exodia? Nope. <laughs> he still he still has a chance though. He still has a chance. He still got swords. He may not have thrown all the pieces away. He has three copies. <laughs> oh my goodness. I think Seeker got so scared of five that he just he just started throwing cards away. <laughs> <laughs> he just started eating cards. He's like, he's like, I, 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 I don't know what you to do here. <laughs> and Seeker's gone. <laughs> Seeker's gone. Seeker's over here, like Mr. Fish. Look, look, man. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I got scared. It's a five-headed dragon. What do you want me to do against that? Mr. Fish is like, I want you to draw the five pieces of. Fucking Exodia, Seeker. So now, I'm gonna have to have a chat with you in the back room. No, no, please, please, come here. And then Mr. Fist just grabs him and just drags him to the back room, shuts the door, and all you hear is just Mr. Fist beating the shit out of Seeker. Take this sub, <laughs> take this shovel, Seeker, and start fucking digging. But, but Mr. Fish, I don't want to start digging. Bro's about the mafia execute this man. But anyway, Bofig moves uh, moves on. All right. Our next match is Evil Rex Raptor versus IN4-M8. All right, folks. I have to, I'm going for my butt, my comrade, IN4-M8. Dash, dash I want, I want him to beat Rex, because fuck Rex, Rex is a piece of shit. Say what? I didn't expect much, but he kept pitching draw power. Yeah, true, he did. He did, he did keep pitching. He was like, oh, so it's five-headed dragon, oh, oh, oh. That's got to be the most idiotic thing I've ever seen. <laughs> Look, bro just... Bro just wanted to, um... Just wanted to throw cards away. Sometimes sometimes he just likes throwing his cards away. I don't, I don't understand it, but he just said he did it. He was doing so good, and then he saw both things like, Yeah, nah, I don't feel like uh, playing anymore. He's like, I got Exodia once. I'm, I, I can't get it again. The seal of where he calculates off the break. I don't want IN 4 M8 to lose his soul. Even though he's a robot, he doesn't have a soul. Nobody tell him. That's how you beat the silver at Calcos. You make a ro you make a robot fight. Because it doesn't have a soul. The first of the dragons. Give me these two cards back. No matter cross or get that out of here. Let's go. That reminds me of the one time Mono got uh, got Exodia and never got it again after that. Damn. Iron four, Iron four dash M eighty's put in the work. Man's out here just clapping. It's over. It's over. Iron four dash M eight moves on. My comrade is doing good. Oh my gosh, I hate IN4. Why? Why do you hate IN4? Come on, man. Come on, girl. You can't be hating my boy. He's my comrade. He's my fellow comrade. All right. All right, next is a cat fight. Vivian Wong versus Evil Mai. This will be an interesting one. 
Every time I, every time, every time I see that thing, I just want to box them. Who do I still have in the thing? Uh, let me see. Well, Pegasus is gone. Seeker is gone. Um, let me see. Let me see who else is gone. Um, you still have Mako. Kaiba's gone. Darts is gone. Uh, I think. And uh, Siegfried is gone. So all you have to rely on, Mr. Fish, is uh, Mako. That's it. Just Mako. That's all you have is Mako, sir. You better hope Mako pulls a, a Wombo combo. Yeah, you only have Mako. Yeah, Seeker cooked Seto. Yeah, Seeker cooked Seto. He hit him with the uh, five-headed. I mean, not the five-headed. He hit him with Exodia. He gave him. Uh, he gave him PTSD. He said here. Uh, he's like uh, Seto Kaiba. You have a problem with Exodia, right? I'm gonna uh, give you PTSD. <gasps> it's like the. It's like the. Uh, it's just like the cops. The cops in SpongeBob that kept showing um, Patrick that picture of. Uh, the picture of SpongeBob when he was on the wanted poster. That's just secret, like showing all five pieces of Exodia. Ah, 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 ah. Now calm down, rich boy. They're just cards. It's not that big of a deal. We just want to know. I just want to know if you have a problem with these cards. Ah, 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 ah. Uh, the end of the wall. Wong, evil my where's evil my there she is let's begin so let's see so for Ryu Yami Merrick's out Yami Yuki I'm not sure I know a Tim is out. No, yeah, all, all the Yuki's lost. I forgot. All the Yuki's lost. So, yeah, Yami Yuki's out. Iron 4 is still there. Abnar Odom is out. Beast King is still in. Jeebles, Evil Weevil Underwood, I think, is out. I know the Spiritual Monk is out. Damn, okay, the duel's already over. Holy shit. I didn't, I didn't, wasn't pay attention to this. I was paying attention to something else you bitch you chose iron four <laughs> yeah he chose iron four <laughs> but anyway uh vivian wong moves forward with a perfect she did she got a perfect perfect all right i got i got half my list still um yeah, you got you got like you got two characters. That that's about it. That's all you got is two characters, bro. Um, next is, oh no, Yami Yuki is still alive. I am dumb. I am a fool. I thought Yami Yuki was dead. I would like to apologize for that. I would like to apologize. Um, our next match, our th our next match is Mako Tsunami versus Yami Yuki. Let's get this duel set up. <laughs> Mako, end this man. Well, that's what Mr. Mr. Fish is going to want this. Is Freaky Fish Spec Ops team is in position. Oh my goodness. Y'all y'all make me die. You you guys make me die <laughs> every time because it's just you guys make me die laughing every time. Uh Yami Yuki, Yami Yuki. There he is, Yami Yuki. Let's begin. They both throw fist, paper, rock, paper, paper and rock. God 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 dang it, Mr. Fish. Oh shit, okay. Yami Yuki's not playing around. Fish sonar. The jellyfish. The tea set. Not the seven colored fish. Wow, BS turn one. 
Bro's cracked. He's cracked. Mako's done. Whatever will I do? Miracles. Regeki. <laughs> Oh, oh shit. Um, I, I'm actually kind of sweating over here. I, I'm, I'm, I'm sweating over here a bit. <laughs> I had never seen Yugi get like this. Yugi, uh, Yami Yugi's getting serious for once in his entire life. Every other time he loses, but this time he's like, okay, I'm getting serious. Yugi said, let me hit you with this magical hat just to, just to play a game with you. Let's play a game. You hit the right monster, but you took some damage. <laughs> Claw of Hermos. Ooh. And Mako's dead. <laughs> Mako's gone. Yami Yuki moves on. Mr. <laughs> like, fuck! <laughs> fuck! I want to whoop that ass. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Second to last match is Joy Wheeler versus Jordan. All right. I, I feel like Joy Wheeler is going to win. Another fish bites the dust. Damn. Damn. But Mr. Fish, you normally always win. Freaky uh, fish back ops team. New target acquired. Oh, shit. All right, let's get this duel up and running. Got Joy Wheeler versus Jordan. And luckily, they're right next to each other. Makes it easier on me. Take out the freaky fish guy. His own team betrays him. Okay, Joey. Joey's starting off, uh, starting off with a sword, the drag sword, and Jordan's like, uh, "I'll take that." The Mitchell prison. I'm going to jet. Gene was like, "I'm going to jet." Leave the guy alone. Star blaster. He made it eleven star. Smashing ground. Time Wizard, don't activate its effect, you idiot. Joey's like, I got luck on my side. Fails. Okay, I lied. Jordan is actually clapping for some odd reason. Pot of Greed. Oh, okay, it's over. Jordan wins. Jordan, Jordan actually beat Joey. Nice. Nice, nice. Oh, Joey, you, you, you did your best. Joey's like, I didn't even get to play my turn. And I'm like, well, sucks to suck. All right, last last match of round, what are we on, four? I think we're on round four. Of round three, sorry, of round three. Last match of round three is Leon versus Beast King. Leon and Beast King. And if uh, if Leon gets uh, Stromberg, I think Beast King's cooked. Which most likely Leon will, Leon will get uh, Stromberg. Most likely he will. And let's see. Let's get Leon up on stage. Beast King. All right, let's go. Pot of greed. Witch cat. Big march of the animals. And that's it. Watch cat for Beast Fang. He said, I'm going to take that. Uh, here's two cards. Uh, I'm going to draw two. Time for battle. 
spindle. I don't even know what the spindle does. Poison fangs. Glass slippers. Pumpkin carriage. <laughs> Beast King was like, huh? Beast King was like, what are these cards? I don't want these in my hand. Oh, no, not the injection fairy lily. It's going to give him his, his medication. Ah. Water of life. Damn, Beast King. Beast King got his hand filled up. Filled with monsters that uh, he didn't he didn't want. That's what that's what screwed him up. Herd of the beast, everything in the defense position. Bro, just wants his cat back, man. You stole the man's cat. Shift, attack your own monster. I want to keep my want to keep my bubonic plague rat. Moja, bye Moja. Why did you attack that? Why did you why did you not attack Cat Net Kitty? You could have got that back. Wolf eats him. And that's over. Beast King Beast King loses and Leon moves on. Leon didn't even need Stromberg. He was like, mm, I don't need Stromberg to beat someone like you. Beast King's like, but but I'm a king. Yeah, I I don't care that you're a king. Beast King's like, what the fuck? All right, we're on the round four. All right, R.I.P. Beast King, R.I.P. Man. <laughs> All right, on to round four. <laughs> we have Raphael versus Yami Merrick. I want to see uh, Yami Merrick. Uh, Summon out, um, I want to, uh, sorry, I want to see Yami Merrick summon out the chicken. I want to see the chicken come out. If the chicken doesn't come out, I'll cry. Feed the king to the dogs. No! Ah! His spirit monster, his beasts just eat him alive. It's like, you lost. Now we got to eat you alive. That was the deal. Wait, guys, we could talk about this. We, we could talk about this. Nah, nah, nah. There's no talking. Only eating. <laughs> ah! Ah! All right, where Raphael? Raphael, there you are. And Yami Merrick. <laughs> Merrick, let's go. I know Jeebles is rooting on Merrick. Just because she doesn't like how she doesn't like Raphael. Well, Raphael's winning this one so far with the with the 800 point in his life points. It is true. I know. I know you, Jeebus. You don't like Raphael. I know you don't. I want my revival slam back. At least I think I gave Merrick um raw. I believe I did. I think I did. I don't know why he just chooses not to summon it if he doesn't have it. I don't know. Don't ask me. The AI does what it wants to do, and it wants to do it, so. So far, Merrick is, has not taken any damage whatsoever. And this actually may be the game. This is the game. And that's the game. Merrick moves on with a perfect, with a perfect victory. Raphael's like, eh, I don't care. Raphael's out here like, I, I, got, I got the round four. That's all that matters to me. All right, Yami Merrick, you move to the semifinals. Congratulations. Next is Bo Thig versus Ion 4 M8. The uh, robot that Jeebles hates is Ion 4 M8, my comrade. How could you hate my comrade? Copy. Right. Uh, both versus I N four dash eight. Let's begin.
the tricky, the black pendants, and the charcoal uh, impachi. Dust tornado. Monsieur, get out. Get out. Get out. Birthright. That was a foolish play. Gandora. Uh oh. Jeebles will be happy if I and four, if I and four dash M8 loses. She'll be happy. She'll be like, yeah, yeah, and I'll be here crying. <laughs> Oh, nice move. That was a nice move. Not gonna lie. Look, the only way I and that I and Dash Four M8 could lose here is if um if he had Dragon Mirror. If he had Dragon Mirror, then it'd be over. He just summoned five headed and it'd be over. Both things said here here's a little boost. Take take this boost. Pot of Avarice. I'll take these back to my deck, and I can draw two cards. King of the Swamp, he added Polymerization to his hand. And it's over, because he didn't have, didn't have five monsters. But he has Coffin Teller, though. And it's over. Damn, he hit him with the 100 first. He, he hit him with the 100 direct. He's like, let me ping you for a little bit. Just, just a little bit. Just a smidge. Just a smidge. Just a smidge. Just a itty bitty little bit of damage. But anyway, I am IN4 M8 moves on. Alright, next match is Vivian Wong versus Yamiyuki. Alright, Vivian. I guess it's another cannon, uh, natural cannon match this time. Let's just let this duel begin. Graceful Charity. Dark Magic Curtain. Already getting Dark Magician out. Card of Sanctity. And that's it. A tea set. The Eye of Tomitus. Aiming the Dragon gains only 100. Palmerization. Oh, damn. Yamiyuki is not playing. Yamiyuki is not playing these games today. He's like, I'm going to win. I'm going to become champion this time. Dark Magician comes back. That's a lot of damage. That is a lot of damage. Vivian, Vivian cannot keep up. Oh, she threw a lot of it. Oh, ooh. Destroy his iconic Dark Magician. That's cold. I don't think Yuki's gonna stand for that. Necromancy. I did not use necromancy. <coughs> I don't know why Yuki <coughs> brought all those monsters back for her. Can't be destroyed by battle, I guess. Another made sword. Oh, I think anything that battles with it can't be destroyed. Probably as long as there's a Chimera monster on the field. You still take damage, though, so... Yeah, it's its effect. Interesting. So pretty much they're immortal. They're immortal monsters, you can't kill them. 
Oh, now he's being forced to only attack that one. It's not like that's a big deal with a 24 on the field to a 19. I just love the fact that when it attacks something, it doesn't get destroyed. It just stays on the field. Zero gravity. Everything changes position. Bye, Thunder Nyan. I am. Rope of life. 32. <laughs> King's Knight. And Vivian Wong loses. Yami Yuki moves on. For once, I mean, for once, Yami Yuki actually wants to win. All right. All right. All right. Last match of, of uh, round four is Jordan versus Leon. Let's get this duel underway. Uh, Jordan and Leon. All right, let's begin. Will Leon get Stromberg off the break and rip Jordan's deck to shreds, or will Jordan be able to make be able to beat Leon before Stromberg even has the ch has the chance to come out? He's got the dog. He's got the Doge. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Giant Trinity, put it all back. Oh, that was a match. Why did Yami Yuki pimp smack Vivian? Well, maybe because maybe because she uh, paralyzed, uh, unparalyzed Grandpa, and then threatened to put paralyze him back uh, because he snitched. That's why. That's why. He that's why he pimp slapped her. Or he just wanted to win. I don't know. Because he's been pimp slapping everybody tonight. Yamiyuki's been like, yep, pimp slap you. Pimp slap you. Pimp slap you. Pimp slap you. It's Jinzo. No trap cards can be activated on either side of the field. Yeah, I'm scared. He's running scared from Jinzo. Magician of Faith. It's the bird, not my additional faith. She had a lot of faith, and now she's dead. Ooh. Daybreaker. Ha 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 ha. Leon is. Ha ha. Sorry. Leon is running scared. Jordan may have this in the bag. Yep, I think, uh, yep, yep, Jordan had that one in the bag. Leon's gone. That means uh, we don't have to deal with Stromberg in the finals. All right. I mean, to the sem in the semifinals or in the finals at all. So, um, welcome to our semifinals, everybody. Consisting of... <clears throat> Yami Merrick, Ian 4 M8, Yami Yuki, and Jordan. All right, Jeebles, have a nice night. I'll let. All right, Jeebles, have a nice night. Get some sleep, and you can just you can always watch the duels that you miss later. This will always be posted up to uh, YouTube. Probably get it posted up by tomorrow, so you can rewatch the one duel that was a draw, and have a nice night. All right, so since Jordan just finished up his match, let's start off with Yami Yuki versus Jordan. All right, Jeebles. Since it seems like Jordan and Yuki both have a similar uh, power to get mon a lot of monsters on the field at one time. But who's faster? I have three characters right now, though. This is true. This is very true. Uh, where is... Yeah, 
Namiyuki, and Jordan. You may be losing one of them. There's a possibility you may lo you might lose one of them. All right, Yamiyuki started with Queen's Knight. Zero gravity off the rip. Bait doll from Jordan. It was a spell, so it stays. And then goes back in. Double summon. Finching Firefair and Sky Scout. Heavy Storm. He does not want him to have that fusion card. He set. Oh, did Yami not get a good hand this time? Did he use, did he use all his power? He used all his draw power these last two matches, and now and now he's run out of he's run out of the heart of the cards. Not the dog. Why do they always kill the dog? Jordan's not gonna let that shit stand. He's like, no, you killed my dog. You're you're catching these hands, Yami. I don't give a fuck. You're catching these motherfucking hands. Curry Bandit. Ooh. That is, those are dangerous cards. Majri Board, you bring it back to King. Card of Sanctity. That's bad. That's bad for both sides here. Mainly because that's going to go back to hand. Jordan just got more cards. Yami just put him in a bad position. Yami just put himself in a, in a terrible position now. Obnoxious Celtic Guardian. It's over. It's over. Jordan wins. Jordan beats Yami Yuki and he's going on to the finals. Well, let's Yeah, let's do that. Alright. Jordan moves on to the finals after beating Yami Yuki. And now it's time for Yami Merrick versus Ion 4 M8. Alright. Let me get these, let's get them all set and ready to go. Well, losing one won't matter. A worthy sacrifice. <laughs> A worthy sacrifice. Shop Yugi's like, what the fuck? What the fuck? Well, you may be losing two because didn't you pick Iron 4 and Yami Merrick? Yeah, you did pick, yeah, you did pick Yami Merrick. So yeah, so you're losing. So yeah, yeah, you're actually you're gonna have one left because Yami Merrick and Ion for M8 are both your picks. So you're gonna have one left no matter what, no matter what happens, you're gonna have one left. So uh, anyway, let's get this let's get this duel up and running. Uh, let me get to Yami Merrick and then Ion for. Where's Iron 4? Iron 4. Why are you hiding from me, comrade? There he is. It must begin. Oh, Iron 4 got his poly off the break. Monster Reborn, bring it back. He did not have a nor another normal monster to fuse with. Holding legs would have put all the spells and traps back in the game, but. There are no spells and traps in the field. Nightmare Wheel. A fusion Gate. That That's actually good for Merrick, because Merrick also has a fusion card. So that will help him. Card of Sanctity. Legendary Fiend. Legendary Fiend is a threat if it stays in the field for too long. Iron Fort. Oh, oh, you gave that to him as a gimmick. Okay. Nightmare Mirror. He threw away the Phoenix. He threw away Phoenix mode. Card of Last Will. Jam Breeding Machine. He destroyed it. He said, I don't want that card anymore. He should attack. Iron Force should attack me at the chance. Sword Revealing Light. He's like, I gotta go on the defensive. He's got an Iron Force staring down three monsters right now. Earthquake defense position. It's all. It's all Iron Four could do. Why Fiend boosts up? If he has something of, if he has nineteen, if he has nineteen, then he can. He could have uh, crashed through uh, legendary Fiend. Cannon Soldier, suck yourself to deal some damage so Merrick doesn't get a perfect 
It's like, uh-uh, you're not getting a perfect round me, you fool. And the beatdown is about to come. Yeah, I and four is dead. Only if Jeebles was here, Jeebles would be happy. Just be so happy to see I and four get kicked out. He killed him with exact change. That's fucked up. He killed that man with exact change. Damn. All right, well, Merrick moves on. Well, Yami Merrick moves on to the finals. All right. Oh, where are you? Oh, yeah, up here. So for our finals, it is Yami Merrick versus Jordan. But before we start that, we have our third place match. IN 4-M8 versus Yami Yuki. And then after that, we can get on to our semi our finals, not our semifinals. So let's get them up on the screen. Yami Yuki. Come on. There we go. Yami Yuki. And Iron 4 and 8. Oh, wait. I forgot. Iron 4 and 8 is already up there. Alright, let's get Yami Yuki. Yami Yuki. Iron 4 8. And let's start. Let's see who goes third place. Ooh, that was a nice start. Yami's gonna have to top that. Couldn't top it. And Iron Force said, ooh, and he hit Mirror Force. So it was really light. Flip it. It's Kribo. Shield Crush. Kribo. Kribo negated Shield Crush? Oh, no. It must have. Its effect must have activated. Or an effect. Or effect activated for Kribo. I don't remember. I don't know. Probably because it flipped its effect. Whatever effect Kribo had. Soul Charge. Now he said, I'll pay, I'll pay 500. Glad he can't attack, but UFO Turtle would have been is good for addition. Iron Axe. Mirror Force. Goodbye. Goodbye. Ah, Dark Magician. I have Tomitus. The Dark Magicians. Oh, no. Why did he not do that during the normal matches? He didn't summon the Dark Magicians normally. I didn't even know you could do that with Eye of Tomitus. Seems like uh, people have learned a new strat to uh, summon out uh, Magician without doing its normal summoning. Polly, what are you fusing for? Oh, first the dragons. It can't be destroyed. It can only be destroyed by a normal monster. And since Yami probably does not have a normal monster to destroy it, that thing's going to stay on the field. I mean, he's going to take damage for it, but it's not going to take a lot because he only has 28 on the field. Bubble of Life, bring it back. It's got 24. Krebo. Liberty at last. What does that do? Oh, sends them back. Oh, Iron Four actually might win. Cannon Soldier. Take 500. And then 27. Damn, I Iron Four, you gonna win? Is Iron Four actually gonna win? Ooh. Neither of them can be destroyed. Pot of Greed, draw two. Sacrifice of Jackson. That was a foolish. That was a foolish play on me. Should have just left that monster with immortality. Cause now you're cooked. Yeah, you're cooked. And uh, Iron Four, Iron Four dash M8 move on. I mean, not doesn't move on, but is our third place winner. Good job, Iron Four dash M8. Good job. Good job. Your third place. But now it's time to go into our main match, our finals. Yami Merrick versus Jordan. So who will win? The man with the insanity, with his insanity high, or will the man, uh, just the just the regular, uh, the regular 
J-Man uh, win. Find out after these uh, messages that are not going to pop on screen or be said. Oh, wait, no, I went too far down. Let's go. Doria and a lot of back row, coffin seller, and jam defender. All right, Jordan, what do you got? Bait doll. Let's see. That was a spell card. Shovel it back. Daybreaker. Daybreaker attacks. No, I have jam defender. Spell of pain. Deal 500. And Doria's dead. Daybreaker dies. Take 300. Okay. All right, so far Merrick has not, no damage has become gone to Merrick. And all those return except for the continuous. Oh, Jordan, Jordan's getting that beat down from the insane boy here. How to breed, draw two. Obnoxious Celtic Guard, Jam Defender, doesn't do anything. It's no, not Jam Monster on the field. Also, that can't be destroyed, I think, due to it being, never mind, I lied. And then Boa get attacked for 13. Oh, Jordan might actually lose. Depending on whatever that card was. Jordan's trying to make a comeback, though. But will he be able to make a comeback before Boa getting burns his life away? He might actually be able to, because he just sacrificed Boa again. Additional Faith. Attack. Jam Defender ain't gonna do shit. Are you taking his card? Oh, oh, okay. He said I'll take that card. I don't know what he banished, but well, I guess we'll find out if Jordan doesn't make a comeback here. Swords, just in case. Which? 300, 11, and 18. Putting him at 35. Pot of Breed. Moss Reborn. He brought back Ndoria, but Oh, I see. I see what he's planning. But swords is preventing that, so. Holding arms. You can't attack, but I'll attack you. Dory destroys him. Take 300. Jam Defender doesn't do anything. Take 600 and 300. All right, Mary doesn't get a monster here or something. Oh, okay. He can't battle, though. But if he would have been able to battle, he would have won. Jam Defender doesn't do anything. 300. 11. Metal Reflect Slime. Oh, shit. Only has 825 in defense. It's over. It is, unless, if that's a Mirror Force fix, Soul Crossing. <gasps> it's Slifer the Sky Dragon. It's over. It's over. We got to see a god be played <laughs> in the finals match. Jordan is the victor by summoning Slifer out to the field, sacrificing his opponent's trap monster. And that is our tournament. That is our tournament. Jordan has become the victor. That was, that was, a, slick, that was a slick play too. That was slick. You Slifer. Yeah, you did, you did a lot, you did a, be, a lot better than you've never been doing, Ryokami. You've made it, you, you've always made it to like the semifinals. Mr. Fish has always won. But you made it to the semifinals. Most of the time, you're either in like third or fourth round, depending on how many characters you have. Jeebus is always in like third or fourth round as well. And um, and then yeah, yeah. Um, but before we end, I I do have to say, I do have something to say first before anything. Um, while we close this out. <clears throat> All right. Now it's time to end this tournament. So, without further ado, our champion is Jordan with five wins and zero losses. Which, funny enough, was selected by uh, by Jordan himself. He, he selected himself. So, congrats! Congrats! He won with his with himself with his draft deck, mind you. That's the draft deck that me, me, uh, 
our and me and Jordan and our friend did because I make I make drafts for us to play every now and and every now and then, and that was his draft for the Realm of the Gods. Um, and then we have Yami Merrick who came in second, which is which is Ryu, and then for third place is also Ryu, but Ryu won't get the third third place prize. So with that being said. Jordan, congratulations, you get a $25 gift card of choice. Real Kami, you get a $20 gift card of choice. Uh, message me in, uh, message me on Discord and uh, what what gift card you want out of the, out of Nintendo, PlayStation, Xbox, Amazon, Steam, or Google Play. And I will get that for you when I go to the store tomorrow at some point. Um, with that being said, I will be putting up the next list uh, at the end of the stream, but I want to say this before we go. I said this in the beginning, and I'm gonna say it again. For our Yukio, for our Yukio stuff, the one after this one will be picks and pro and a prize, and then after that one, there will be two for fun, and then after those two, will be be what why you why my uh participants sent me sent decks and they sent me in decks so those will be their picks so they will have no idea no one will know except for me about what decks are being played and what's going on until until that time comes so be prepared for what's next i believe the next tournament is a dragon ball dragon ball Budokai think i think i four tournament let me uh double check that real quick so i can confirm confirm that or deny that I believe that's what I have set up next. Yeah, next is a Dragon Ball Budokai Tenkaichi 4 tournament. So I will have that moved over to uh, the dock for all my um, for all my uh, players to pick from. Anywho, folks, I hope you enjoyed this tournament. I hope you are enjoying our tournaments. And I hope uh, you all have a nice night. And let's hope that sparking uh, Dragon Ball Sparking Hero has CPU capability. If it does, then we will also be adding that to our tournaments as well. We'll be doing BT4 and we'll be doing Sparking. We'll do both because since BT4 gets updates every so often, we may get some characters that Sparking may not do. But hey, who knows? And because I like the Budokai, I like the old style of Budokai Tenkaichi 3. And I do like Sparking Hero, but I like the old style too. I like that a little better. But anywho, without me rambling, everyone have a nice night. I hope you guys are enjoying everything that's being brought to you and what you're seeing. And remember, stay creative.